Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm recording the video now. How Good. are you, my friend? Okay, there you go. How are you? Nice to meet you. Great to come from my country. Good. Much love to you, my friend. Thanks for accepting my invitation for Live Music Country. It's very honored today to see you in person and chat with you, my friend. Of course, I read your biography. You're very interesting. I really, really enjoy to read your biography. I complete all the biography. I really enjoy, my friend. Mm -hmm. Of course, you checked my questions, right? Yes. Yes, I have. They're just there. Uh... Of course, you prepare yourself. <laughs> and yeah. you're I, very comfortable with that i i know i see i no problem at all i'm looking forward to this oh, okay it's my honor my friend okay music interview with my friend uh, paul from australia and question one i want to know your journey in electronic music how you start to become a composer that's my first question First. Okay, um, it's been a very long process. Um, I didn't really think that I would ever actually be a composer as such. I was just more interested uh, in just learning how to play. And initially the piano, I started playing the piano at eight years of age um, and sort of kept going until I was about 14 or 15 and then just stopped. You know, I was a teenager, there was other things to think about without going too deep into that. And we, uh, and I, I didn't do anything more for about several years. But in my early 20s, I realised something was missing and within myself. So I thought, you know what, I think I might just take the piano up again. So I started doing that. And, and of course, it's you have a very different attitude uh, when, when you first came, like when I started playing at eight years of age, you have a very different attitude and knowledge of things when you're 20, 21 years of age, as you would when you're 40 or 50. Everything's sort of in a state of flow, I think. But anyway, so I, I I started playing the piano again, and I was working with my father on a farm because I've come from a farming, farming background. And uh, and I, I thought to myself, no, I don't really want to be a farmer for the rest of my life. That just wasn't for me. And I ended up going to Sydney and studying music. Um, there was a very good teacher there called Tony Graff, who was a teacher at the uh, Conservatorium Jazz Department. So I went to him privately, and that was for a few years. So at that point, again, I still wasn't fully aware that I really wanted to compose because it really it was in the back of the mind, but it was never actually high on the list. I wanted more to just to play and to be a good player. Well, that all changed pretty dramatically and in one, or basically the listening to one record. And the name of that record was China and it was by Van Gallus, a very then an emerging uh, artist. And this was about 1978. And, the, uh, and a friend of mine had a record store. So I just, you know, I, he, I happened to go there, which I used to go there quite a lot. Hey, back in the day, you know, that's where you hung out with your records. So um, anyway, so he said, I've got a, an, yeah, a, verses, uh, an album the here. The take time and years. I know that. Yeah. We just yeah. have 40 minutes. And, and, no. We just have 40 minutes. No. So you can give me short answer if you like because of the time. Yeah. I know it's long. Okay. Journey. Okay. You know, I'll, I'll give you the I'll give you the Reader's Digest version. There you go. It'll be nice okay. in the bridge. So anyway, long story short, much, much, I'll quickly because it's important for my journey. Um, I listened to this album, and it then like, it was like suddenly the world opened up, and uh, of music, and I said, yeah, that's what I need to do. I need to compose that. And actually, I mean, it wasn't even called ambient music. I don't think back then. It was just instrumental music. Everyone, everyone loves ambient music. music. They do. So anyway, so that's basically, that's the reason why I sort of started. I heard that music and then from there, from that moment until the moment we're talking with you now, that's it's always been about ambient music. Wow. Wow. Much interesting, my friend. Wow. <laughs> Thanks for this amazing answer. Okay, my <laughs> second question is, what made you want to become a musician? Uh, just because of the love of sound. And uh, and that, as far as I can remember going back, even when I was a, only a small child, it was always about music, always. 
uh, there was it was always sounds the sounds back there would only come through the radio, and uh, and they would be playing different things. Mainly it was just commercial music back then, but uh, it, but then occasionally they might play something like a, piece, a classical piece, and that just totally you know I just was drawn into it. I was drawn into the music of Debussy and Chopin and people like that. So it's been with me for as long as I can remember. Wow. <laughs> wow. So starting from the radio and classical music and this yes. long, long yeah. take years. Just a, just a continuing. It, to me, it's just all, it's all about, it's not really arriving anywhere. It's just this constant journey. You don't have actually really an end sad, yes. time. Right. right. You know, when you don't imagine that you're going to do it. So, yeah, that's it. Um, my goal of making live music interview, it's easy. Maybe you'll see me the first Iraqi making live music interview, specialized with electronic music. And that's my goal. I want to share electronic music around the world. I want to build the circle of communication between me and the artists around the world. I want to understand yes. more the art and the artworks and the artists around yes. the world. I want to help people to, to become yes. creative with the art. So if anyone yes. to discuss yes. music or any kind of art, mm. My interviews will help him yeah. to be My interviews will help him to, to choose his first step with the art and become a creative and start his journey. And you see, very important. That's my goal. Yeah. Like, like, yes. it's, it's, it's a beautiful time. Creative. And I see to specialize yes. in that because I see electronic music. Is yes. Music and she's tremendous. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. It's, it's a bridge. It's a, it, it's a bridge. To build, to bring many people across and walk across it, and just and walk across it together. It's, it's a beautiful idea. It is important to build our world and make yes. it more, more creative to understand and beautiful yes. the artwork. I want helping people mm. to find themselves during the art. I see it is important. Yeah, that's yes. Yeah, so I think I totally agree with that. The the I think the world needs more creatives now. They don't. They've got enough problems. But how about some fixes? How about some remedies? And I think the, the most obvious for I that think, is the people like you and I, the creatives. Yes, I think we need to fix our world as we're an artist during the artwork. I, I see it as very important. Yes, it is. Absolutely. That's, that's my Absolutely. Yeah. Now, that's now, yeah. now more than ever, yes. Yes, that's my goal to make for sure. Record. I have a lot of yeah. projects in Bandcamp, YouTube. Good. And if you're interested, you can see my links in my Facebook page. I post everything. So if you have free time, you can check my links to enjoy. That's it. <laughs> I've already, I've had to listen to your, I think you have a, an album, The Green Rainbow. Is that what it was? The, yes, yes, yes. It's a very, very, very yeah. good album. Yeah. The Green Rainbow. That's, that's what it's called. It's very nice. Very, very good music. That was on Bandcamp. Yes. So, yes you know, I have you're, you're good. Of course, you check the yeah. album, right? Oh, yes, I, it's, absolutely. It's a track I created uh, before two months. I'm working a new album. It's named Doing 10 Ambient Tracks. I will release it after I finish. I will, I will send it to you. 10 Ambient Please. Tracks. I'd, I'd be honored. Thank you. That's it. I build myself a phone. No one teach me. Yeah. That song, right? I, I do that okay. all by myself because I love art. Yeah. Myself, so I start my yeah. journey alone and I build myself. <laughs> yes. Uh, okay. 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 Uh, the question three. Let's back to answer you. What inspired okay. you and what make you want to keep producing the music? Well, as I was saying before, the, the it's it's about the learning. I'm I, as I said before, I've only got one ambition in music, and that's to learn. So, and that's that's why you produce. That's why you do these things. You just you just wish to learn, and therefore, if it's if it's a constant. You, you don't even think about, oh, no, I've learned all there is to know. You'll never do it. Like, you have to understand in with music, no matter how gifted you may or may not be, you, you, you will never know it all. It's impossible. It's impossible. You'll get the occasional artist right. who, who stretches it and stretches the, the knowledge of that instrument, like Jimi Hendrix with the electric guitar, yeah. for example. But there's... My favorite. That's what it is. Hey? Yes, Jim Hendrix. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's that's the end of that one. Just learn, keep going, keep going, keep producing. 
uh, of course, I will keep producing until I have <laughs> the what I want to do. Yes, yeah, you yeah. know it. When you, when you get there, you'll know it. Time, a lot of time, I need experiment a lot. It's long, long, yes. not easy. <laughs> no, it is not. But you, 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 you just, you know, it's easy to say it, but the reality is, you know, I know, and everybody who's watching this will know the musicians, is that it's it's a very long and convoluted sort of path, but it's a path that you're actually chosen to be on. I mean, somewhere out there, I was chosen to 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 do this path, and it was okay, no problem. That's what it is. You accept it, of course. And we are in 2023. We have the technology, we have the internet, so we can yes, do yeah. it much quicker yeah. with the, the courses. Yeah. A lot of things. Yes, we have the the yeah. technology yeah. to make yeah. our capacity. Our capacity to learn. And our so capacity to really learn is just. Better. It's through the roof. It really is. All you have to do is sit down and listen. It's it's amazing. It's a it's a very good time to be a good musician, actually. To be a musician now. Of course you're right. Okay. Thank My you. next question is what kind of music gear you have to Okay. Play? Yeah. Okay. Um I don't I quite Some like talking about it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So what I now do and have done for quite a while now is I don't use hardware, I use software. Uh, so I'm so the, comfortable with the software. Good, good, good. Uh, some people are not, but, um, you know, I, I love it. Um, I use Cubase as the sequencer. Uh, Cubase 11, I think it is. Um, and, but the main ones, the main sounds that I now have is, uh, is, is Spectrosonics. And uh, they make things like uh, Omnispheres 2, uh, Trillion for the bass module, uh, Keyscapes for the pianos, electric pianos, et cetera. And I find they're pretty much 98 to 99% of the stuff that I use. There's the occasional uh, native instrument stuff, which is quite good. I quite like it. It's, it's very competent. But for the depth of sound, I feel Spectrosonics is it suits me just down to earth. It's really wonderful. Plus, it's you know you save on space. You don't have to have great rack modules and, and things like that. It's great. It's a great plugin. Onimusphere too. It's a great break yes. plugin for making bad soundscapes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, that's what it is. And that, that's they're beautiful. Have as the step sequence is a perfect for ambient sequences. Uh, yep. 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 <laughs> no, that's that's the that's the gear I use. Yes. Okay. <laughs> wow. Interesting. Well, uh, another question. Who is your favorite artist or person you look up in the industry? Mm. I, yeah. Well, yeah, the, the most obvious one was Van, was Van Gellis. Uh, but that was a long time ago. We're talking 1978. And I listened to all his stuff up until about the late 80s, very early 90s. And that's all I really listened to. it. And then from then on, I started to form my own voice, my own musical voice. So I, I didn't listen to Anielis quite as much and then eventually didn't really listen to him at all. No disrespect to the man. He, you know, he put me onto this music, you know, this style. So I, I, it's a debt I'll never pay. But but then, you know, like in other ones, there's Mark Isham, the film composer. I like his music. I liked it in the 80s. They were very, very good. Um, I like uh, Osric Tentacles, the UK psychedelic band. They're very, very good. I no desire to play it, but it's it's very, very good to listen to. Uh, another guy I listen to a lot uh, is Stephen Wilson, the uh, the UK. Wilson. Uh, oh. Yeah, Stephen Wilson. Yeah, I, one of I've my had the favorite pleasure. artists. Yes. Yeah, he, he's, he, it's a genius. He's a, yeah, he's considered a genius. The, uh, the 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 smart thing about Stephen Wilson is while he's a very competent musician, he always gets the best musicians to pay pay uh, to play for, for him in, in his band, and and that to me that's that shows that's a smartness, and I have actually seen him a couple of times, two or three or oh, twice, in when he came to Australia and his solo stuff. Um, yeah, he's he's definitely worthwhile. Sound genius. Uh, Sound genius. Uh, listen. Oh yeah, yeah. He's he's always changing. He's, you know, one album isn't the same as the next, or the next, or the next. He's always he's always moving forward. So yeah, he's 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 very good. 
There's probably others that I, but they're the ones I think really the good ones. Oh, did I say, did I mention Tangerine Dream? Yes, I think I did. Yes. Okay. 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 Another question we have. So, um, are any artists that you draw inspiration from? If so, who is and what sort of music? Um, <clears throat> Yeah, it's actually, there's there's going to be artists that you're going to really like that are not in the genre that you compose. Um, I, I like film music, for example. Hans Zimmer is a very, very talented composer, very good composer. Hans Zimmer. Um, yeah, he, he's very, very good, very talented. I know. I know. Um, yeah, and there's... Interstellar. You know, what is Interstellar? Sounds like it's mind yeah. blowing. It shook my mind. Right. Yeah, he's uh, he he's written on yeah. All respect to him. Yeah, yeah, he's uh, he's definitely you know one of the best film composers, if not the best. But I there's know. other really good ones too. So um, and that's so uh, and then is good. sorry, you have sorry, Christopher, didn't Nolan. You. Christopher Nolan. You have Christopher. Oh, yeah, Nolan. yes, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. That film. So yeah, there's there's quite a few. I, I do listen to a lot of music, but. Um, I don't always, I, I don't know, I don't sort of pay much attention. I pay attention to the music, but I'm not, not so much the artist. And that's probably, you know, I hate to have to admit it. So, you know, maybe I shouldn't have admitted. I've just got the whole world now against me. But anyway, I can live with that. I'll have to. Okay. Mm. Interesting. Uh, Hans Zimmer, he have uh, mm. online course and master class. Oh, yes. Yes, yeah, I, I, yeah, uh, I, <laughs> I entered in that one, and I, and I actually, uh, uh, and the Batman theology, yeah, yeah. That film score, and I really it's, remember when I see him. Yeah, uh, it, it's, really it's fantastic. Good. It's fantastic really? music. There's so many really talented composers in in cinema now. I mean, it's, I know, uh, I know, it's. I know. They're brilliant, and they're actually crossing over in the genres as well. It's not just straight up and down film music. It's, it's other things I uh, like sound design. Um, I'm I'm working with a uh, Mike Benoit from uh, the US, and he's a he's a how would you describe it? Technically, it's not music, but it's but it's sound. So he calls himself a sound designer, and what Mike does is it's it's sort of like if you were listening to a shipyard, you know, the building and the ship, all those industrial noises, that's the sort of thing that he has. He got in contact with me a few months back and said, look, I like some of your piano work. Would you be interested in maybe we can do something together? Yeah, sure. So I, I gave him an album that I recorded 2021 when we were all locked down with his COVID restrictions. And it was just pure solo piano. So I sent that to him. He said, yeah, that's perfect. I'll, I'll use that. So he went his way and did his thing for a few months, and then he he sent it to me a few more oh, about six days ago. He sent me a, a copy of what it's going to end up. And it's actually quite interesting. It it really is because what I was playing was very melodic. What he plays is well, noise, but he manipulates it, and and it makes sense at a certain level. It makes sense. So you got the the melody, but you also have noise that somehow merges. And it does work. I mean, you're not going to, it's not going to, I don't think it's going to be a huge hit or anything like that, but that's only my assumption. I could be very wrong. But the, but, but it was, so it's worthwhile, you know? You, yeah. There's, and, there's uh, really brilliant, there's some great composers out there. It really is. Of course. Well, and uh, another question What is your yep. process like? Sorry, what was? Oh, I, I got it. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. No, that's is that's that's number eight, isn't it? The question eight. Okay. What's your process? What is your great yeah. process like to produce okay. your? Um, just straight up and down work. You work at it every day. You every just day. that's your great every day. Every, every day. day. I've, I've retired from what I used to do, and I'm now doing music full time. Which is what I always wanted to do, but the economics of it. Are... Full time, all the day, music, art, experiments, yeah. projects. Yes, those sort of things from different countries. Yeah. Audio. That's it. 
That's your greatest yes. Wow, interesting. That's what it is. That's what it is. And and so, yeah, I'd, I think that's, yeah, just, okay. yeah, the creative process. Yeah. Um, I'm really I think, yeah, the, the only, the best idea is you just got to, you just got to learn to be patient enough to be able to keep learning. I don't wait for inspiration to come and hit me, then I go and do something. I don't do that. I just, I go into the studio and I record. I record something. Now, it may be absolute rubbish and I'll never use it for anything. But then something happens and you create something. You can't, you don't put it, oh, you yeah, can't you imagine it. You, and do something. It's just, yeah. Yes, something will happen. You and you don't wait for inspiration. You've got to go to it, and and it'll come to you when it's ready. Believe me, it it, it does happen, and when it does, they're yeah. the magical moments that you just live for, and they are magic. It is pure magic because it doesn't it doesn't work on any real rational sense, does it? Interesting. <laughs> okay, uh, my another question. What is your process to go through to finding the perfect tone? Do you study online courses or just experiment? I mean, you. <laughs> um, I haven't been to a music school. That's yeah. it. You have to do it by alone. Or... Yeah, yeah. I haven't been to a music college or anything like that for you know decades and decades. Um, so I think experimenting number one that's the most important thing. Yes. And like secondly. Check out what all the all these technical things that you can see on find on YouTube, and if you have a technical question for a Cubase or a or whatever you want, you're interested in not just music, yeah, anything. You'll you'll find someone who knows it. You'll find someone who knows it. Yeah. So, I remember yeah, when it. I used Live Eleven or uh, Garage Band, a lot of plugins. Yeah. I mastered by the experiment a lot of experiments yes. a lot of hours mm -hmm. i can understand any plugin if i make i give him a time or make with him mm -hmm. experiment of course i will understand it and yes i, I watch mm -hmm. youtube and watching online courses but but yeah. all my time with the experiment with the gear you're doing it yeah you're doing it the fine, yeah. and the trick uh, find my toe yeah, and the trick is when you learn something, make sure you write it down or put it into a file somewhere. Because trust me, you'll think you'll never forget it, but you do. And then you've got to go back over the process again to try and find what you already know, yes. which is very, very frustrating. So if you do find something, jot something down and it'll jog your memory. Or at least that's that's what I found. That's for sure. Yes, sir. That's what I do. It's experiment. Yeah. Uh, listening a lot of music, yes. a lot of albums, yeah. inspire me watching a lot of movies. Yes, it's a, a great yeah. process, circle of creativity. It's for me. Yes, yes, yes it is. <laughs> I'm very so, happy today to see you, my friend. Thanks for amazing answer. Yeah. And uh, thanks for your time you spent chatting with me. And this is all I have, these nine questions today. Yeah. And, and that's it? And, yes, and that's it, is nine it? questions. And yeah, <laughs> an awesome answer. It's good to oh, see you, you today in person. You too. You, you, too. you too. Message, I will be always there. And uh, I like your music. I like what you did and electronic, your art, you. your cover audio. You. I'm very happy today mm. to see you in person, my friends. It's my honor. Waiting from my yes. country. And see you around. <laughs> okay, mate. Thank you so much. Thank you for support. Really, really appreciate it. And we will that's, that's start my mission, from my friend. That's my mission. I want to share electronic music as it's important. I want to make music, make art. Make art. Yes. That's it. That's, that's we it. want to make our, our world more creative. I see it is very important during the art. It is indeed. Absolutely. Yeah. And it's a <laughs> it's the best ideal you can ever have. Okay, mate. You take care. Of course. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye.